And finally, the footer, which we want to look like this, which is relatively simple. So it's already got its height. We change the border. We don't want that border green color. So we want it to have a border top of one pixel dotted gray. And the same on the bottom. But no border on the left or the right. There's a P tag, a paragraph tag, inside the footer. So that's going to be footer P. We want to center the text vertically in the box, like this. The height of the box is 60 pixels, so we can center the text in it by using exactly the same height, line height 60 pixels. We'll match the margin of the header by giving it margin left 50 pixels. We'll give it a much smaller font size of 0.7m. The smallest on the page, but we make it bold. Save and refresh. And that's more what we want. There's a problem, isn't there, here? We've got to deal with that. So we can style that anchor with footer A. We can solve the font size problem with font size inherit. Save and refresh. And that's solved that. So I'm going to give it the color black to remove the ugly blue default color. But this time I'm going to leave the default underlining alone so that it looks like a link. So I won't add text decoration none this time. And then it'll remain with its default underlining. Lastly, let's give it a hover state by appending colon hover to the end. And we'll give it the same dark red color on hover that we used for the admin links and the uh, users links up above. So this is just going to be color hash A32824. Save and refresh again. And now that's as we want it. It looks like a link, and we have the same matching color that we've got everywhere else for the links. Let's go back and just take out those extra movie descriptions that we put in there. So somehow this blue border around the favorites area seems to have escaped my attention, so we need to remove that. I think it's the only blue item, so let's just do edit find blue. And there we are, that's the border on the favs list, so just remove that. Okay, save and refresh, and that looks as we want it now. So now I think we're ready to check it in all the browsers. Check those hover states and make sure it's all right. So that's Firefox, that's okay. This is Opera. That's fine. This is Google Chrome. Looks the same to me. This is Safari. No problems. And now the old devil Internet Explorer. So I've got it set to Internet Explorer 10. That's fine. Switch to 9. And it looks exactly the same, no problems. Switch it to 8. Um, you have to say allow blocked content. And no problem, that's fine. But I'm afraid that we'll find that it's not supported in Internet Explorer 7. Internet Explorer 7 doesn't recognize the inline block setting. 
And I'm afraid I'm going to leave it like that. Percentage of users using Internet Explorer 7 is very, very low now. And quite frankly, it's a horrible, outdated browser with all sorts of problems. And really, we need to encourage people to upgrade. So I'm not going to support Internet Explorer 7. So that's completed the styling for the movie list page. In the next video, we'll do the styling for the single movie page and the admin pages.